So what is going on dammers, my name is Meho and welcome to your 15th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're going to create a brand new login application for Angular 6, in Angular 6 basically. So let's get started. Alright, so in this video we're going to take a look in this mini series, we're going to see how to create a login app which consists of app components obviously we need them backend validation a little bit with php for the time being but you can switch it to node or whatever you want then routing with angular and how to actually protect your routes so we're gonna span this um over some tutorials i'm not sure how many but there would be some so starting with the app components what we need is um, a login component and admin component for the time being right and if you're coming to the series and you have no idea about my previous tutorials what you need to do first is you need to actually set up something known as a proxy a proxy forwarding for your api calls to the back end to do that what you need to do is just go to your package.json file inside your scripts modify this start by writing ng so proxy config proxy config.json then create a proxy config.json file here and write this thing. And what this essentially do is that it would forward all of your API request slash API request to this another server, which is your remote server for the time being for development for your API calls. For example, I can send my validation information to this slash API slash validate and this would be a post request. And in the body, it consists of username and password. And actually, Angular would fo forward it to my this server. So, what advantage does it give us? Well, it just um, gets rid of that course policy which browsers have. So that's for that. And now, if we take a look, let's just create some components here. So I'm gonna start off with. Um, let's just say we need to create login and admin component. So we're gonna say um, ng generate component. Uh, let's just say this is login component. Hit enter. And ng generate component admin component. Hit enter. All right. Now what we can see is a login component is here. And for the time being, our app component, what we can do is say href or a router link as uh, or rather rather what we can do else is just create ng generate component as home very nice so what we have now is that what i can say is inside my app component i'm going to say router outlet this gives us access to routing in angular and inside my app module if you see um, we have these modules already added we have imported the router module let's just import it inside our imports for root and what i'm going to do is provide an array of routes the path would be blank the component would be home component there we have then for the second route what i'm going to do is uh, the path would be login and the component would be a login component and for the time being we're just keeping the route unprotected admin the component would be um, admin component there we have it now we can just move this a little down so that it's you know just easy on eyes and there we have it Right. We also need to create a service for the backend stuff. So I'm going to say ng generate service and I'm going to write the service as auth or let's just say um, not auth or maybe yeah auth should be good. All right. Let's just go with that. So here what we are doing is that we are generating this auth service and there we have it auth.service.ts here we have it and we're gonna implement a method like get user details 
and we're just gonna post these details to HTTP server or API server rather and uh, return user info if correct all right we will do that later for now what we have is login shows login component and inside our login component we can create a quick little form form should be nothing i'm gonna say input type text and this should be placeholder username input type password placeholder password and form so to handle form submission what we're gonna do is write submit and uh, let's just say form or login user something like this and we can just pass in the event object here and right here what we can do is on our login dot component dot file we can say login user this event and uh, we can just pretty much console log the event for now and there we have it all right we just need to set up our routing here correctly i mean if we go to oh we already have but we don't have any links right so i'm just gonna go to home component right here we should see home works yep and i'm gonna say a router link login login and we're just gonna say a router link as admin go to admin just for testing purpose after we have finished with the app click on clicking on this link should redirect to us to this one if we are not logged in and should show admin content if we are so let's just reload go to login we see our form all right so now now we are on login what we need is uh, a button to actually submit the form input type text input type submit value submit hit save wait for it to reload and meanwhile i'm just gonna fire up my console so if you go to console and hit submit um, you can see that uh, we just got a console statement here but it did not prevent the default um behavior of uh, page reloading so let's just prevent that by actually going here and saying event dot prevent default just like that hit reload and hit submit you can see that we get our event console logged properly and there we are all right so now we have prepared a form which looks like this we have prepared the admin page not really top secret we have prepared the admin page the basic structure for the form for the login page is working but we are missing the authentication part and the admin obviously the backend server part so that's all for this video in the next video we're going to continue off with the same thing so see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications